Hey there, CG Math students. Welcome to Math Task number 43, adding integers using the algorithm. So you'll notice we're switching gears a little bit uh, so that we can set ourselves up for success with expressions and equations in order to get back to some complex equations that we need to do. So backtracking a little bit, but uh, setting us up for success in the future. So if you'll notice uh, on the left here, um, uh, you've got two problems, negative 5 plus 4, and they use a number line, negative 5, uh, you move five spaces to the left, uh, and then four, which is positive, you move four spaces to the right, and you end up at negative one. Um, and then negative one plus negative two, negative one, you move one space to the left, and then negative two, you move two spaces to the left, and you end up at negative three. So you're always beginning at zero, and then you're moving either left or right based on um, the uh, whether it's positive or negative. Um, but uh, there's another way you can do this. Um, you can do this with symbols. So, for instance, negative uh, 4 plus negative 4. You have 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives. Since they're all negatives, just count them up. You get negative 8. Um, don't worry about the type just yet. Um, on B, I have two positives, so that's two plus signs. And I have seven negatives, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, and then positives and negatives will basically cancel each other out, right? If like I give you a dollar and then take a dollar away, then you're still up with zero, right? So those cancel it out. Uh, it's called the additive inverse right there. And you get one, two, three, four, five. And there's, since they're negative, your answer is negative five. All right, so I have five negatives left over. My answer is negative five. Uh, let's look at negative three plus negative eight. Uh, I have three negatives, one, two, three. And I have eight positive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And positives and negatives, those cancel each other out. See ya, see ya, see ya. I'm left with five positives left over. So I don't say uh, plus five, I just say five, right? Um, so there's that way as well. So you got number line, you got uh, symbols, but then you just got the algorithm, basically the rule for how to do this. And that is when you have the same sign, you add them and keep the sign. So if they're both positive, you add them and it stays positive. Two plus five stays seven. Uh, and then negative 3 plus negative 7, that becomes negative 10, right? Because you add them and you keep the sign. Um, now, when you have different signs, you have a negative and a positive. That's what I mean by different signs. So different signs, a negative and a positive, you're going to subtract them and keep the sign that has more. So even though you see a plus sign here, there's actually a subtraction problem going on. Think of it as you had 11 pluses, and four negatives, the four negatives and four pluses cancel out, and you had seven left over, right? So this is positive seven because I had more positives. This, I'm going to say seven plus negative nine. I'm going to subtract these two numbers, uh, nine minus seven, uh, and I have two left over, but I had more negatives, right? I had nine negatives versus seven positive, so it's negative two. So if we go back to these types here, this was a negative plus a negative. That's a S, S, A, K. Same signs add key. Add them up, we kept the sign, negative 8. Uh, this is a positive plus a negative. That is a different sign, subtract more. We subtracted 7 minus 2. There's more negatives. That's how we got negative 5. And then we have, uh, again, a negative plus a positive. That's a different sign, subtract more. We subtract 8 minus 3. Um, that's 5. And there are more positives, so it stays positive 5. Let's do one or two of these together, and then we'll work in partners. Um, so always label the type, negative uh, 9 plus 6, that's DSSM. This tells you what to do in your head. So different signs, subtract, keep the sign, you have more. 9 minus 6, that's 3. I have more negatives, so my answer will be negative 3. 7 plus negative 3, that's again a DSSM, different signs, subtract more. So 7 minus 3, I have more positives. So 7 minus 3 is 4, so I get to keep my answer as 4. Negative 11 plus uh, five. That again is a DSSM. I have more positive, uh, no, more negatives, excuse me. Um, so my answer is going to be negative, and 11 minus five is six, so my answer is negative six. And finally, uh, negative six plus negative eight. Ah, finally, same signs add keep. They're both negative. This parenthesis just means, hey, I'm negative, so you don't think that's plus minus, right? Uh, so negative six plus negative eight. Uh, you add them, 6 plus 8 is 14, and keep the sign. So your answer is negative 14, right? You keep the sign there. Okay. So that's it. The rest you're going to go ahead and do right now in partners.